sign it had, and it said to create one of your own on doing this. So we dragged it onto the black, I mean white part, and we did it up in the example above. And when we clicked play, it started, and then we clicked the red square over in the very corner to stop it. And, and um, to make it play, we had to click the yellow square button that had this on it. Because if we just click before, it, this was not plugged in all the way. Yeah, so we had to try So it we again. had to push it again, and then when we click play, it works. And when we click, and we the, click the red button, it stops. It stops. I'm going to explain how this program works. After we were done building the robot, um, we came up to here to do to program the robot. Um, it said to use the play button and the clockwise motor. So first we moved the play, then we moved the clockwise motor. Now if we click this, our robot will work. And then if we click this, our robot will stop. This is our robot and it works because there is a pulley in the front that moves it. And what the pulley moves are the gears in the back and the gears are attached to the um, birds so they start to move. And this works because of the motor and the motor is attached to the computer part when you plug it in and it starts to work. At first we made the belt go like that on the pulley, on the gears, but when you cross it, like it is now, both of the birds come inwards and then go opposite ways because before they both went to the left, but now they're going inwards and then out. For first design, we had this belt right around the pulleys. Second design, we had a um, cross belt on the pulleys. Now, we took one of the big pulleys off and ch changed it for a smaller pulley on, and this is how it worked out. The right bird um, pulley is going faster. It takes less time because it's smaller. And the left bird pulley it takes slower because it's a bigger pulley than the small pulley so it goes slower we did this program while we made it in this little play button we dragged it up and this motor it with the uh, symbol right there, and it's gonna go for amount of power, and then a little die below it means it's gonna. We don't know how much power it's gonna put in because it's gonna put random power in, and the motor with the a arrow going clockwise is gonna make the birds go clockwise, and the music note with the eighteen below it. It means it's going to do a kind of sound because it depends on what number you put down what sound it's going to make. And the timer with the die below it, well the timer means it's going to stop and that's going to make the bird stop spinning. But we don't know how long because there's die and that means random. And the motor with the counterclockwise, it's going to make the birds go counterclockwise. And the music note with the 19 under it is all is gonna make it do a kind of sound. And the timer with the die means the same thing that it's gonna pause for a random amount of time, so we don't know. And the music note with the seven is gonna make a kind of um, 